Hi everyone, this is part 5 of JavaScript. Today we will discuss about variables and data types. In the last class we discussed about JavaScript tokens. In this session we will discuss about variables and data types. So here let us see what is a variable. Variable is the name given for a particular memory location. What is variable means? Variable is the name given for a particular memory location. For a particular memory location. Is it clear? Variable is the name given for a particular memory location. And what is the purpose of variable? Purpose of variable is to store the value. Purpose of variable is to store the value. So whenever you want to perform any operation on data, we need to store the data. In order to store the data, we require what? Variable. Is it clear? So in JavaScript, we can declare variable. In JavaScript, we can declare variable by using where keyword. Variable by using where keyword. JavaScript is a loosely typed language. And any language that does not support predefined data types, that language is called as a loosely typed language. Any language that supports predefined data types, that language is called as strongly typed language. Like Java, C Sharp, .NET, Python, TypeScript, these all are strongly typed languages because they have fixed data types are there like int, float, double, char, string, etc. But in JavaScript, you can directly declare the variable by using where keyword. So here yeah, the syntax to declare the variable. Okay, now. So something like where variable name. Variable name is equal to value, something like this. This is the syntax to declare the variable. For example, where x is equal to 10. Similarly, where y is equal to a, b, c. Group of characters must declare within double quotes where z is equal to 2.3. So variable is the name given for a particular memory location. The purpose of variable is to store the value. Is it clear? The purpose of variable is to store the value. And similarly here you must have the knowledge on one point. Okay, na? like what is variable declaration? What is variable declaration? Variable declaration means what? Declaring the variable without assigning the value. Declaring the variable, declaring the variable without assigning the value, without assigning the value, that is variable declaration. Declaring the variable without assigning the value. Okay, na? example here you can write var x semicolon. Similarly, next one is what is variable initialization? Assigning the value to the variable, assigning the value to the variable at the time of declaration assigning the value to the variable at the time of declaration is it clear that is variable initialization where x is equal to 10 that is variable initialization next point is what is variable assignment variable assignment variable assignment means assigning the value assigning the value to the variable assigning the value to the variable after declaration after declaration is called as variable assignment for example where x is equal where x is semicolon this is variable declaration and here i'll write x is equal to 10 that is assignment so three things are required these three are very important one is variable declaration okay now nah? other one is variable initialization another one is variable assignment what is the purpose of variable the purpose of variable is to store the value is it clear and here you can see variable declaration, variable initialization, variable assignment. We can declare the variable by using var keyword. In JavaScript, there are no fixed data types like other languages. You can declare the variable by using var. Let us see the rules to be followed while declaring the variable. Here rule number one, variable name must start with. Variable name must start with lowercase character. That is one rule. Variable name must start with lowercase character. Where emp number is equal to 101 this is valid actually here if i declare something like where emp number is equal to 101 error will not come but it is invalid we have to follow the naming conventions properly variable name must start with lowercase character rule number two variable name must not consist of spaces variable name must not consist of spaces here if i declare something like where emp space number semicolon 
This is error. Invalid. Variable name must not contain some spaces. Rule number three. Variable name must not be a keyword. Variable name must not be a keyword. Keyword is a reserved word which have a special meaning. Where if. Yesterday we discussed about keyword. Where uh, for. Where uh, while. These all are keywords actually. Variable names must not be a keyword. Is it clear? And point number four. Rules to be followed while declaring what? Variables. Variable name must start with lowercase character. Variable name must not conserve spaces. Variable name must not be a keyword. Point number four. Uh, we cannot store. We cannot store multiple values. We cannot store multiple values in a single variable. We cannot store multiple values in a single variable. One variable is used to store one value. Where x is equal to 5 comma 6, you will get error. If you want to store multiple values, you have to go for arrays. Rules to be followed while declaring the variable. Point number 5. Whenever we modify, whenever we modify the variable value, whenever we modify the variable value, then the previous value will be erased. Then the previous value will be erased. Whenever we modify the variable value, then the previous value will be erased. For example, where x is equal to 10. And here if I declare x is equal to 30, something like this. So initially what is stored in uh, x? 10 is stored. But now 30 is stored. So we cannot modify the variable uh, value. Is it clear? One variable we can store only one value. We cannot store multiple values in a single variable. And we cannot uh, uh, store what? Whenever we modify the variable value, then the previous value will be erased. These are all the points we need to remember while working with variable. Some rules to be followed while declaring the variable. Variable name must not uh, must start with lowercase character. Variable name must not conserve spaces. Variable name must not be a keyword. We cannot store multiple values in a single variable. Whenever we modify the variable value, then the previous value will be erased. Point number six, variable name must not conserve special characters except underscore. For example, if I declare where underscore EMP number is equal to 101, this is valid actual. If I declare something like this, where EMP question mark number, this is invalid, error, you will get error. Next year, one more powerful point I will tell. Left hand is equal to is called, is equal to is called as assignment operator assignment operator which is used to assign the value which is used to assign the value to the variable which is used to assign value to variable value to variable if you want to store the value in the variable we have to use assignment operator that is equal single equal is called as assignment operator next point here i will try to tell left hand side left hand side of assignment operator left hand side of assignment operator consider as variable and right hand side right hand side of assignment operator consider as value right hand side of assignment operator consider as value are you following everyone for example let us say where x is equal to 10 here x is what variable 10 is what value 10 is value Similarly, here I will write where y is equal to x. Here y is variable. The value of the value of x, the value of x that is 10, will store will store in y. Left hand side of assignment operator consider as variable. Right hand side of assignment operator consider as value. Here red is variable, blue is value. Means we are assigning this value x value inside what y did you understand once again i will fastly refresh here you see variable declaration means declaring the variable without assigning the value this is variable declaration variable initialization means assigning the value to the variable at the time of declaration this is variable initialization variable assignment means assigning the value to the variable after declaration this is called variable assignment and there are some rules we need to follow. Variable name must start with lowercase character. Variable name must not consist of spaces. Variable name must not be a keyword.
Keyword is a reserved word which have a special meaning. I explain about keyword in the last video. We cannot store multiple values in a single variable because one variable we can store only one value. Next, whenever we modify the variable value, then the previous value will be erased. Here, if you observe, I written something like where x is equal to 10. Here, I will declare where x is equal to 30. So, one variable we can store only one value. Here, initially, x value is 10. Now, x is replaced with what? 30. Because one variable we can store only one value. And point number 6, variable name must not conserve special characters except underscore. Generally, variable names can start with underscore, but don't give any other characters. Is equal to is called as assignment operator, which is used to assign the value to the variable. Left hand side of equal operator consider as variable. Right hand side of equal operator consider as value. These are all the rules we need to follow at the time of working with variables. Yes sir, no? If you want, I will give you some uh, basic uh, examples see here. Where x is equal to 10. Here, where y is equal to abc, something like this. String value. Group of characters is called as string. String value must represent within double quote. String literal. Similarly, where if you want to store floating point value, you can store something like this, 4.5. So, generally, it is a loosely typed language. No specific data types. Okay, na? In JavaScript, just you can declare the variable by using where keyword. For more videos, try to subscribe to this channel. Thank you.